Rais Uhuru Kenyatta aliongoza taifa kumomboleza mtangulizi wake Rais Mstaafu Mwai Kibaki huku akimtaja kama kiongozi shupavu, mkomavu, chapakazi na makini alikuwa na maono makubwa huku akisifu maamuzi magumu aliyofanya Rais Kibaki akiwa uongozini Kenyatta alisema kwamba mtangulizi wake hakushughulika sana na kutafuta kuwa maarufu bali alijihusisha zaidi na utekelezaji wa miradi yenye faida kubwa kwa wa Kenya na kama anavyotoarifu Francis Gashu ni kwamba Rais Kenyatta anasema nguzo kuu katika muhula wake uongozini ni kufuata ramani aliyochora kibaki. Karibu sana mheshimiwa Rais unapoungana nasi. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alirejea katika uwanja wa Nyayo siku 888 baada ya kuliongoza taifa kumpa mkono wa Buriani mlezi wake kisiasa Rais wa pili wa taifa hili Daniel Arap Moi. kwa mara ya pili katika kipindi cha miaka miwili miezi miwili na siku 18 mheshimiwa rais akielekea kupeana heshima zake za mwisho rais akiongoza taifa tena mara hii kumwaga rais mstaafu Mwai Kibaki Kenyatta kimtaja Kibaki kama kiongozi aliyejishughulisha sana na utendakazi na wala sio makuu ya utawala President Kibaki was by all means a modest man and did not believe in loud shouting when the limelight was shone on him he tended to coy and hide and this is because he found virtue and joy by doing the ordinary things that fulfilled his promise and purpose rais akiamua kumomboleza mtangulizi wake kwa maswala makuu matatu allow me to celebrate the man lying before us using three frames kibaki the man kibaki the leader and kibaki the visionary i begin with kibaki the man and in celebrating his humanity i want to pose an age old question about our existence and that is what is the true measure of a man licha ya hatua kubwa alizopiga katika uchumi, mipango ya kitaifa, elimu na miundombinu, ghasia za baada ya uchaguzi mkuu mwaka 2007, nusra zilitumbukiza taifa mashakani. How do you measure a man under whose watch Kenya experienced our darkest moment in 2007? Yet in this moment, President Kibaki shook the hand of his opponent and invited him to form government with him on a 50-50 basis despite opposition from some of his own supporters wakati huo kulingana na rais Kenyatta kibaki alishawishiwa na baadhi ya washauri wake kukaa ngumu when moments were dark he chose to be the light when reason was scarce he became the voice of reason and when hope was down he encouraged us all to exercise the gift of long suffering and if a man is not measured by what he started but by what he finished then the record must reflect that the honorable mwai kibaki finished very strong akiwarai viongozi wa leo na kesho humu nchini kuwa na ujasiri wa kufanya maamuzi magumu he understood but a leader who does not lead himself will be driven by his difficulties rather than his vision he will give in to pressure of crowds rather than the chosen path appointed for him such a leader will be pushed to make popular choices that please crowds as opposed to bold choices that are good for country but maybe unpopular at the moment yote tisa kumi ni kuhakikisha mwanga aliyowasha mzee Kibaki ya uzimwi haswa taifa linapojiandaa kukitegua kitendawili cha mmiliki wa tano wa ikulu baada ya miaka tisini na moja humu ulimwenguni rais Mwai Kibaki rais wa tatu wa jamhuri ya Kenya safari ya kumwaga imengoa nanga rasmi kilele chake ni mazishi yake kule Nyeri hapo kesho rais Uhuru Kenyatta akiliongoza taifa kwa mara nyingine kumuomboleza kiongozi wa zamani wa Kenya
Francis Gashuri Runinga ya Citizen katika uwanja wa Nyayo Nairobi.